I'm looking at you, right? Yeah. Yeah, look at me. Um, I started making bagels the last, this past summer, and I just started doing it um, because I was really bored. I started eating bagels every day because I was vegetarian my spring semester of college, so then I was just, what was available to me was like, it's a salad or bagels. I ended up having like bagels way more than I ever had in my life. Have had a bagel almost every day since. After Einstein's closed down, there's no bagel place near here. I know there was obviously an opportunity to like sell bagels like on campus. That's how I came up with the idea to just make bagels and then charge people, but then not keep the money and just donate it to a different charity each month. And like, I don't need to be making money that way right now. Like I still am like learning how to work and learning how to do stuff. I need help because I can't do this all and balance everything with school work. Like I, I put a lot of hours into it and I would do it if I didn't have help. But Deja specifically, like she's super good at looking at the charities. For Bagels on Boylston, I basically research um, a bunch of charities to that we can donate to. Like puts them in the list and then tells me about some that like I might be interested in because she kind of knows like what I like and like who where I want to help out. Organizations that help alleviate hunger in um, low-income families or underprivileged families or um, homeless shelters that provide um, safe havens for women. Usually it's just me, but sometimes we have bagel runners. But after I'm done here, basically if I have orders, I package them up and then I run them. I basically will come to your door. People will give me a time and a place usually, and I'll come to the door and then I'll knock. And then sometimes the person will be there and I'll hand them their bagel, or sometimes they won't be. The idea is to bring a bagel directly to your door to cut it out in like a fresh bagel that you can't get around here, like really close. I just think it was funny. I mean, it was kind of like a gag at first, but also I know Will loves cooking, so I knew it was serious. I don't know. It's just funny. I would I would love to like be successful enough to be like, oh, I could literally just start a restaurant, and that's like my dream. He loves to cook in general, and he loves making bagels. And it's kind of a passion, which I think is really pure and really nice and sweet. So that's good. Like I don't think it'll will ever get to the point where like I, I like I'm the dropout star. Like that's just not. Like, that used to be like my dream is to, like do like, like I was like, really obsessed with like fame my freshman year, but I really like. And even maybe like last year, I like dropped out from that. I'm like, because I never want that much money. It's like his thing. He's Bagel Boy, which is just so funny. Usually when he's making test batches, he just like leaves them out or lets anyone have them. Originally, I would, like I said, when I was making them at home, I would just bring them to, over to my friends and we would hang out. I would say, eat this. For me, it's really important to be like, you taste it, you're like, it connects in your brain, like this is the flavor. Like if it's there, like the graham cracker bagel, I would just bring to people and be like, what flavor is this? Until I got graham cracker. But he's always in this, this kitchen and I live on this floor. So sometimes I'll catch him um, while, I'm, while I'm like walking past going to my room and I see he's making bagels. I'm like, I pop my head in and I'm like, what kind of bagels are you making? And he'll tell me, I'll be like, oh, can I get one? And he's always like, of course, because I don't know. He loves to share his bagels with his friends, which I think is really cute. At home, it's usually my mom, who is not the best test subject, because she'll say whatever's good, but I really have to grill her to say it. They're so good. Like, when I first tried his bagels, I was really shook, because, you know, I don't know what, I don't know what you expect from a bagel. I like coming up with stuff that like people haven't tried, but like definitely, like when you think about it, it works, and when you taste it, it works. My favorite? I love the falafel bagel. Um, the banana chip bagel is like a great, I like banana bread. Um, so it's like a different spin on banana bread, I guess. Not to be like to my horn, horn, but that's a good bagel. Like it's just a solid bagel all around. He has like the creme brulee bagel, which he doesn't actually make here. Um, he has a spinach dip bagel for, I don't know what he puts it in. I think it's the, falafel bagel? I don't know. And he has like a cheesecake bagel. Crazy. I talk about bagels a lot, probably daily with people, and I just come up with bagel ideas and people would just shoot stuff at me. I'd be like, 
Oh yeah, I have like a list. Um, I got so hype over his bagels last semester. Is it like inappropriate if I pull up my list? Okay, I'm gonna pull up my list because I think they're great ideas. Oh yeah, I wanna do a, thank you for reminding me phone. Chai, la chai latte bagel is what's right next. I think it would definitely would work. Hasn't been done before yet. Chai latte bagel. Steal it if you want, but hey, it's my idea. But he was like, I have too many sweet bagels. I need to, ah, I got it. I need to have more savory bagels. So this is what I came up with. Um, I said a sriracha bagel, a sriracha infused bagel with avocado filling and a poached egg on top. For some reason I can't figure out a maple syrup bagel. A lot of people do it. I, I don't know how to do it. I know they probably don't use maple syrup, but that's the, that's the flavor I want, and then I just can't do it because it just doesn't mix well, and then I just get frustrated. So I don't have a maple syrup bagel, but that's okay. I don't know, this one's like so gross, but it's such like an American, I don't know if this is gross or not, but like it's like an American dinner um, type of bagel, which is kind of weird. But I was like, you should put like meatloaf chunks in like bagel batter and then like fill the moat with mashed potatoes and then pour it with gravy on top. Like I invented this myself, like that's the fun of it. Like I'm, it's like doing a painting, like you don't want to like trace something that you know exists. Like if you're painting the same kind of portrait of a person, like you're, you try to reference as least as possible, like while you're actually doing it. Obviously I don't know shit about, sorry. Can I, <laughs> I don't know shit about bagels, but. I'm the best bagel in Boston proper, which is how I feel about it, but. I'm not the best bagel ever yet, but we'll get there.